so hi there so in this question we need to find other trigonometric ratios of two angles this time with a from a given trigonometric ratio so in this case it's given that tan alpha is root 3 and we need to find all the uh, trig ratios for alpha and beta now i hope you went through it so let us uh, now let us do this together okay so first let us label this as y and this side as x just a matter of convenience so so we know that uh, tan alpha is root 3 it's given in the question now what do we know about tan alpha it is a ratio of perpendicular to the base so p upon b and what is p in this case it's y and b in this case it's h so now this is the important y upon x is root 3 from this we can say that y is equal to root 3x okay so the root is only over 3 clear now we can replace this y with root 3x okay so we substituted it there now for all the other trigonometric ratios we need to first find this length the hypotenuse of in this case right so you know most of us know the pythagoras theorem so hypotenuse square will be equal to the perpendicular square okay plus the base square so this is x square in this case so i think you should do this on your own i'm not going to do this the entire process so this is plus 2x so hypotenuse will be equal to 2x you can figure this out so this will be 3x square plus x square so you get 4x square then we take the root of it <clears throat> and we get plus minus 2x so we can neglect the minus sign and we get 2x so let us draw the entire thing again okay there you go so yeah this was a triangle okay this was a root 3x this was 2x and this was x so when we are labeling this this is alpha this is beta and this is 90 degrees so let's just quickly draw a table to find all these uh, on this in this table uh, this part we are going to solve for uh, alpha and beta okay so now what will be the sin alpha sin alpha will be perpendicular so for alpha this uh, root 3x in this case will be the perpendicular upon hypotenuse so this will be the hypotenuse so 2x so we can say it will be root 3 upon 2x so see the x and x cancel out this is why no uh, we don't require uh, the unit centimeters meters kilometers whatever be the case the values of these ratios will be will remain a constant okay so we get sin alpha is root 3 by 2 now cos alpha cos alpha is base upon hypotenuse so base x upon 2x x upon 2x which we get it as 1 by 2 now tan alpha Okay, so tan alpha was already given to be root three, but you know you can just figure it out yourself. Root three perpendicular upon base, so root three x upon x, root three x upon x. We get it as root three. Okay. Now let's do cot alpha first. So we know cot alpha is one upon tan alpha. So it's the reciprocal of tan alpha, right? So what is the reciprocal of root three? It's one upon root three. Easy enough. Then uh, we can solve this for sine alpha as well, so uh, cosec alpha as well. So, cosec alpha will be one upon sine alpha, right? So it will be the reciprocal of root three by two will be two by root three. Okay. Now what we are left with? We are left with sec alpha, right? So sec of alpha. This will be one upon cos alpha. Or two. Good. Now let me solve for beta. In the, uh, I'll do it faster this time because 
you know how you can solve this so for beta this will be perpendicular upon hypotenuse x upon 2x so x upon 2x will be 1 by 2 now for cos beta cos of beta this will be the base this will be the hypotenuse so root 3x upon 2x root 3 by 2 now for tan beta tan beta is perpendicular upon this so this will become the perpendicular x upon root 3x okay 1 by root 3 x will cancel out now for cot beta it is 1 upon tan beta so reciprocal of 1 by root 3 we get it as root 3 now again for cosec of beta it is reciprocal of sin sin beta so you can write it as 2 and then finally we are left we are left with sec beta it will be the reciprocal of cos beta so it will be 2 by root 3 now i want you to watch this very carefully okay this is very really interesting look now now why this is true this is an important question you should think about see uh, value sin alpha is equal to the value of cos beta so root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 similarly the value of cos alpha is equal to the value of sin beta so cos alpha and sin beta are equal 1 by 2 1 by 2 each and similarly for tan and cos tan alpha and of this angle is equal to the cot uh, right cot of this angle and cot of this angle alpha is the tan of this angle and similarly we can prove this for cosec and sec now why this is true or is this just uh, valid for uh, what uh, which cases I have took here so x root 3x and 2x a triangle now I want you to think about it and if you think it's just valid for this case I need to solve this question okay again but this time the value of uh, keep the value of tan alpha is say uh, 7 upon 24 okay so you will get some clean values for hypotenuse I'm not going to tell which values now I, I need to do this on yourself consider tan al alpha to be 7 upon 24 and then you should solve uh, you should be able to solve the entire question again on your own on the next video we are going to see why is this true if this is a general case why is this true so I encourage you to think about it and of course thanks for watching bye